Now we're going to be dealing with activist art once again, just like we did with feminist art, but in this case we're dealing with environmental or ephemeral or earth art. And I give you those three names because they're really interchangeable. Now while certain art is obviously more ephemeral, certain art is more environmental, they're all activist in their own way, either ephemeral where they're working against the gallery system, creating something that can only be recorded in photographs and not really auctioned, or environmental where they're trying to draw your attention to a specific issue, i.e. the environment. So let's get into this and look at defining these terms, defining these ideas. Now, earth art, also referred to as land out, art or earthworks is largely an American movement that uses the natural landscape to create site-specific structures, art forms, and sculpture. Now, the movement was an outgrowth of conceptualism and minimalism. The beginnings of the environmental movement and the rampant commoditization of American art in the late 1960s influenced the artists. Lending, to, lending them to create works, or leading them to create works that were, to varying degrees, completely divorced from the art market. Something like this, for example, you can't really sell because what are you going to do? Sell the sand and have someone recreate it? Sell the land itself? But these are things that are going to basically self-destruct. These mounds of sand and holes will obviously level out over time. So, in addition to the monumentality and simplicity of minimalist objects, the artists were drawn to the humble everyday materials and the participatory social sculptures of Joseph Beers, B-E-U-Y-S, that stressed performance and creativity in any environment. So they're creating something simple, something that will last for a very short amount of time and something that will make a statement. Obviously in this case probably talking about global warming and climate change with these ice figures melting slowly on the step. Again something that can't really be dealt with in the art market and therefore creating almost a pure form of art. A form of art where we know that commoditization is not the main subject. They're not trying to sell these pieces, rather they're trying to create a statement.